let's put this thing on here. It's not supposed to be too complicated. So first you got to take these rollers off. Those come off in three pieces. This comes with a new roller, so there's that. And then you've got this piece, which is the main piece that's going to mount in here. All right, so that's the first thing we're going to do. Okay, so this has got the bolt in it right here. We're going to take that bolt out. And then mount this in here just like this. Let me show you a seriously annoying thing about this Drodo latch. You see this space right here? It has to be filled with washers. And it doesn't come with any washers. So if you're planning on going to the lake and doing this at the lake, you need to bring some washers with you or make sure this is the exact fit of your trailer. Okay, on the back side, you can see that I've put two washers on each side. And I had to put a flatter nut here because the nut wasn't going to reach. It's made, it's made to fit these Triton trailers, it says, but uh, this is a little bit of a pain. You'd think they'd send spacers with you or something, but anyway, we're going to make it work. Okay, we're going to tighten this down to where we can move it, but it's snug. That's snug there. You want to be able to move it, but not easy. So I think that's pretty good there. I'm just guessing on the angle of the boat here, so hopefully that'll be about right. Now, it's just a matter of putting your roller on. Washers go on the outside that you put this through put this piece on the inside and then this piece your washer and then this flat lock nut okay so your handle is going to sit like this You've got two bolts. One, see the square that holds onto this piece. You're gonna stick that in there like that. And the other one's gonna come in from the other side. And then you'll put the nut on them, tighten them down. Your handle is gonna mount on this stud right here. You're gonna have a spacer that goes on first. And then once you've got that on there, you can put your handle on. And you can adjust the angle of this. I'm gonna keep it low until I get my boat on it, and then I'll adjust the angle. Once you get that on there, you've got a pin that holds it. And now, when you get your boat on, you'll pull up and it'll release, it'll release your latch right there. Okay, now I've got my boat up here and I'm trying to get it on. My roller wasn't high enough, so this is the roller bracket. I had to loosen these two bolts, push this bracket up, and then tighten them back down. Hopefully that'll get my roller high enough that it touches the boat. So that worked. You can see the boat's sitting on there and it's sitting on here. Now go ahead and put your winch hook on there and then winch it up and you should be good. Now you can actually, you can actually go ahead and pull the boat out of the water 
before you hook your winch hook on. And that's the purpose of this, so you don't have to get in the water. But since I'm sitting on the tongue adjusting things, I just went ahead and hooked it up. When we get ready to launch next time, all we'll have to do is unhook our winch hook when we're up on the ramp, back the boat in, you just lift this handle, just lift it up, it pops that latch and your boat goes right off the trailer. All right, try it.